Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I hope everybody had a wonderful day and a well-deserved one. Today the menu is going to be fried rice because I have a whole lot of extra turkey meat that I want to use up. So I'm going to be making some fried rice with some stripped turkey meat. And first of all, I wash some rice. I'm going to leave all the measurements in the description below. I'm going to be adding some black pepper. And I like to season my rice before I cook it so it can cook with a lot of flavor before we put the rice together. So now we're going to add our salt. And I have here some fried rice seasoning and some uh, Chinese spice. I'm going to add that to the rice as well. And I just want to show what brand I'm using. I, I'm using the Sari brand, which is um, a brand from Guyana. And I really fall in love with this brand because um, it has really nice flavor at the end of um, any dish that you make. So now I'm gonna go simple, not too much ingredients for the rice. I'm gonna add now some green seasoning. And I'm going in with, I'm gonna average how much I wanna put in today. But this green seasoning have thyme, fine thyme, broadleaf thyme, garlic, green onions, and marjorie pepper. This is about four tablespoons of green seasoning. And now we're gonna mix this rice up nicely with all that ingredients. It already smell nice, right Natalie? Yeah. So nicely mix everything in. I'm gonna add a little bit of Chinese sauce to give a nice color when it's finished. So I'm going to add my Chinese sauce just a little bit because we will be adding more to the pot a little bit later on. Mix now and then I like to pressure my rice. So I'm going to put this into my pressure pot and I'll co cook this for 10 minutes and I'll get the perfect texture that I'm looking for. But I'll show you step by step what I'm doing. So the rice is in the pot now and after I wash the rice, the rice always become more. So this is a one cup measure and I measure five of this after I finish washing it. So now I'm going to start adding my water to the rice. So five of the one cup measure rice and I added six and a half cup of water. I'm going to let it warm up a little and then I'll cover my pressure pot and cook this rice for 10 minutes. So while the rice is cooking up, I'm going to start cutting up some veggies and I have the traffic lights here. <laughs> red, yellow and green or red, amber and green and I'm going to grate one carrot. I still have um, all my condiments like my green onions and all that to cut up but I'll start with this and we're gonna prepare a delicious turkey strip turkey fry rice today my rice is done pressuring 
and I'm just airing it out while I am cutting up. Actually, her hubby is cutting up the vegetables now. And um, while I'm getting my other ingredients ready for the fried rice. So all our peppers are now finely cut up. Carrot is grated. Pepper. I have some flat leaf parsley or celery here. Maruri pepper for flavor. Some green onions. Some green peas. And I'm going to be using a combination of red and regular white onion. A piece of ginger. I'm going to chop all these up. And we will soon put together our beautiful, delicious strip turkey fried rice. So I have everything laid out here now. From my strip turkey to all my seasoning and ingredients. And the rice is cooling off here. Now we're going to put together this delicious fried rice now. So in the pot, and I like to use this pot because it's nice and wide. So I have enough room to mix. I'm going to be adding some onions. We're going to cook the onion for a minute or two. Now I'm going to add some frozen green peas. We want this to start cooking. Now we're going to add our turkey into the pot. And this is the last of my turkey now. I'm going to go in with my hot pepper at this point. And we're going to let this cook for another two to three minutes. So while I'm working on the meat on this side, Hubby is frying up some eggs here to add to our fried rice. So right now, the meat was cooking up a little. I'm going to add some black pepper. And I'm going to add my ginger that we grated earlier to cook with the turkey. And that will flavor it up nicely. The ginger really goes nice in the fried rice. It gives a really new level of flavor. I want to add in here now some Chinese sauce. And I'm adding cheese Chinese sauce today. The Chinese sauce is going in. We want to change the color of the turkey. And it will also add some flavor. Look at that. Looking good for my eyes. Now I'm going to add my peppers. So green peppers. Yellow peppers. Red peppers. And we're going to mix. Looking nice. Wow. I can eat what's in here right now just as it is and then I'll cook this up a little so all the flavors can marry in well into the vegetable and the turkey before we add our, our spices. I'm going to be adding my salt in here now and we're going to mix. Wow, this is looking so nice and the smell of that ginger in here is perfect for a winter weather or um, any winter season. Let's see here. We're going to add our fried rice seasoning, the sorry fried rice seasoning.
We're going to add some Chinese spice. And this is a whole bunch of spice blends up together. Chinese spices going in there. And then we're going to mix again. Mmm, this smells amazing. And my husband's favorite dish is fried rice. He's doing my camera right now and he has big mm. smiles on his face. So now we're gonna add our flat leaf parsley or celery. And this is frozen one from my garden. We're gonna mix. And at this point you wanna have your stove on medium heat. So you're not overcooking anything right now. And then I have some carrots here. I'm gonna add my grated carrots right before we start adding the rice to the pot. And we're gonna mix again. I really like what I'm seeing here now. So we're gonna start adding the rice and mix everything in. So I just made a little opening in the middle so we can add the rice in. And I'm gonna add and mix, so half of this rice, and then I'm gonna mix that in. And then we're gonna add the rest and mix again. I have my green onions that I'm gonna add on top like this. And then we're gonna mix all that goodness, juicy, nice strip turkey fried rice. And then we're gonna add some of the eggs that hubby just fried up. Mmm, look at that. And then we're gonna go in with some of the eggs. Amazing! We're gonna add the rest of the rice now. And then we're gonna mix everything in and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So friends, here is my delicious strip turkey fried rice with some eggs and the whole works. Look at this beauty right here. I have some fresh cucumbers, tomatoes, and some cabbage on the side. This is what dinner looked like today. All are invited. Before I plate up, I have a success story to share. Our sister Donna tried my bread recipe and she was very happy with the result. She made the bread and they came out beautiful. So after dinner, I'm heading over to Sister Donna's kitchen for some nice hot bread who's coming with me. So I'm gonna show those clips right after this for her success story. And then I will let you guys know how my fried rice and strip turkey taste. So here is my beautiful strip turkey fried rice and all the beautiful trimming. I'm looking for peace pepper to take my first mouthful for you guys. And I'm gonna dig in here for a piece of the turkey and some of that delicious rice here. Your mouthful guys, cheers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The turkey have that flavor of the ginger and the rice is well seasoned and I can get a hint of the mariburi pepper coming through there. What a beautiful flavor and nice combination. You can add any vegetable to this dish and you will always get a beautiful fried rice. So I'm gonna take another mouthful
and I'm going to sit down here and enjoy the rest of my dinner. It is so delicious. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now.